Chapter 7 is also a one-page chapter. So, chapter 7, albumin takes up ionic copper. Some people claim that ionic copper is a poison. They also call it metallic copper or free copper. However, ionic copper is easily taken up by albumin in the bloodstream. Ceruloplasmin is not the only copper-carrying enzyme in the blood. Copper is taken up efficiently from albumin and uh, alpha-2 macroglobulin by cultured human cells by more than one mechanism. Ionic copper entering blood plasma binds tightly to albumin and the macroglobulin transcuprin. It then goes primarily to the liver and kidney except in lactation, where a large portion goes directly to the mammary, to the mammary gland. Little is known about how this copper is taken up from these plasma proteins. The liver and kidney do not just, quote, help the body excrete toxins. They are also the location of the adrenal glands, which need copper to, promote, to produce hormones and neurotransmitters, and the liver manufactures many copper enzymes.